Hello everyone, welcome to Don't Make Me Juice episode 4 where I take two or more figures off the shelf with a hypothetical gun to my head got about one to two minutes to decide which one I would keep. It's been fun filming these and it's been great fun seeing a channel like Go Figure get involved and do their own Don't Make Me Choose videos. They're a lot of fun to do and a lot of fun to watch so shout out to him for taking part in this but drop a like on it for me, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram at dean 93 v 3 It's October so this will be a spooky special. Don't make me choose between the NECA Ultimate 2018 Michael Myers figure, the NECA Ultimate Halloween Kills Michael Myers figure, and the NECA Ultimate Halloween Ends Michael Myers figure. Well, my favorite film out of the trilogy is definitely Halloween 2018. It's also my favorite mask out of all of them. But as far as the figures go, it would definitely be between the Halloween Kills and the Halloween Ends. And I already know the answer, folks. It's going to be the Halloween Ends. That's the worst film of the trilogy, but it's the best figure of the trilogy from NECA. It's just the most detailed. The mask is excellent. You get two of them. Bunch of cool weapons. Check out the review. They've all been reviewed on the channel. Look at the weathering on the knife. Beautiful. So, yeah, that's an easy one. I would definitely go with Halloween Ends Ultimate Figure. If you don't have any NECA figures, you've just never gone near that scale, maybe just grab this one, just to check it out. I know you won't be disappointed. Proportions are excellent. All right, starting off easy. Let me do something a bit more difficult now. Don't make me choose between the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Pennywise on the left and the Sideshow Ghostface on the right, although that has been pretty heavily modified with custom masks. He's more of a Scream 6 ghost face now. This is a random one. Just grabbed them right off the shelf and thought, well, this would be interesting because I have no idea. Let's see. Um, you don't have too many choices when it comes to ghost face figures in 1-6 scale. And likewise, for well, you do with Pennywise. You've got Hot Toys and Inart. Um, I sort of feel the same way about both characters. Kind of take or leave them. But needed them in the collection. You know, you can't not have... Pennywise and you can't not have Ghostface in your uh, horror icons lineup. So, okay, got about 30 seconds left. Let's see. Uh, I probably... Oh, man, it's tough. Because they're both great-looking figures, but I think feel, like, slasher-wise, definitely Ghostface would be more essential in that lineup. He's got a nice Shadow Virgo metal knife. Darko Customs did the masks. Really nice job on the Scream 6 mask here with the weathering. Check out the review on the channel. So yeah, it's a shame because I do love that Pennywise figure, but if I had to choose only one of them, I would go with Ghostface. Just seems like the more iconic slasher out of the two. This one's going to be tough. Don't make me choose between the 1-6 scale pumpkin head by Syndicate Collectibles or the 1-6 scale werewolf by Cool Models. And I've had this one for a while. I love werewolves and I couldn't believe it when this was released because, or well, when it was announced, you know, the anticipation for it to be released was crazy for me because truly that's the kind of werewolf I like. You know, running around on its hind legs like a man but with the head of a wolf, only more extreme. I absolutely love it. I haven't got long. This is really difficult, super difficult, genuinely. I, at this point, talking, do not know which one I'm gonna choose. I love this pumpkin head figure. I've always wanted a one six pumpkin head. Syndicate Collectibles did such an amazing job with it. Uh, and I do, I've always intended to change the clothing on this one. I want to kind of get a biker leather jacket like Arnie wore in T2 and just shred it up and put some blood on it and have like a ripped t-shirt underneath. Kind of make it look more like a biker werewolf. Never been too crazy about the clothes he comes with. All right, got to be quick, got to be quick. Okay. Ah. Um. Oof. Right, give me like 20 seconds. Pumpkin head. I love pumpkin head. I love him. And that's it. it's such an amazing piece. But so is this and the customization potential that I still haven't got to after all these years. I wanted to bloody up his fangs a bit. There's loads of fun to be had here. Damn, I love werewolves. I love pumpkin head. I love them both. Okay. Yeah. 
let me think about it while the camera focuses that's good thank you for buying me some time <laughs> oh ah okay um which one of which one is going which one's going <sighs> be quick be quick shut up give me a minute <laughs> this is really fucking hard um mm. i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep pumpkin it they're gonna keep it I'm gonna keep pumpkin it because I do have the howling custom werewolf and that's what a lot of you are thinking as I was filming this figure you got the howling werewolf man forget about it bye bye cool models bye Felicia <laughs> no no but yeah that's the way it has to oh man that's a horrible one I, I, yeah I keep pumpkin head and get rid of my cool models werewolf what a fucking dilemma don't make me choose between the Mezco little mini Myers here, which is posable, and I absolutely adore the sculpt of the mask and the hair and everything about it. He's so cute, but also so creepy. Or the Knuckleheads posable Art the Clown, which has a really good likeness, even though it's more of a kind of cartoony look of David Howard Thornton as Art the Clown. It still really looks like him. I love both of these. I just looked over on the shelf and spotted Myers and thought, right, what's the closest thing to that that I can think of? And there's probably other things that I could put it against, but this two uh, here seemed pretty tough to choose. So, let me see. Um, probably, I don't know, Knuckleheads made this, and I don't know how many were made, how easy it will be to get in a few years' time, especially with the popularity of Terrifier 3 now and Art the Clown... It's just going through the roof it's amazing to watch and this will probably be the easier one to try and get again in a few years time i don't know could be wrong about that i love them both ah okay genuinely want to think about this for a second because i love them both let me just change the pose as well yeah see but the myers one you just can't mess with it like now you've got him about to stab reaching out for you, you can turn the hands i think it came with changeable hands as well got them in a little bag somewhere but look at the sculpt on the hair and the coloring of the mask as well they've done such a good job painting everything uh, I think it's pretty obvious I, you know I'm all about Art the Clown right now and this could you know could end up being quite a rare piece in years to come I don't know and the likeness is really good it's a really cute little funny piece to have but and it's probably gonna be the harder one of the two to get which makes me feel a little bit foolish but my gut is telling me Myers the 78 Myers here by Mesco. It's just such a cool looking piece. It's awesome. But so is the Knuckleheads Art the Clown. But yeah, there's a very big difference in quality here as well. Like this Myers piece feels very solid and heavy. And obviously the Knuckleheads figure, you can tell by looking at it, it's not going to be very heavy. And it's a bit of a weird one. I had to do a little mod to get the legs to be the right way around when I got him out of the packaging. That was a bit stressful. But yeah, I choose Myers out of these two. What do you think? Don't make me choose between the ultimate Laurie Strode by NECA for Halloween 2018, seven inch scale, or the retro cloth Laurie Strode by NECA from Halloween 2, 1981. We don't have too many Laurie Strode figures at this present time, official figures that is, but the ones NECA have done have been really good looking. And this particular one came with two different head sculpts. Again, you can check out the review on the channel, but look at the likeness. It's really, really cool. And yes, Myers is lurking in the background. I mean, look at the head sculpt on this one. And the paint is so neat, there's no mess. The way the hair's sculpted is really nice as well. I mean, that was a pretty obvious wig she was wearing in the movie, but I do love Halloween too. Just grown on me more and more over the years. And Dick Warlock as Myers is very unique. And you could tell in the newest trilogy that James Stu Courtney was channeling possibly a little bit of Dick Warlock as well. Just in some of the movements and the walk. That's the retro cloth Halloween 2 Necker Myers that is meant to be with Laurie here. He's never too far from Laurie. Never too far. Right, we've got to get on with this, haven't I? Right. So, um, yeah, that's... Uh, that's a beast. 
that's an absolute awesome sculpt two head sculpts one with glasses one without she has a shotgun the pistol in her hand and some other little bits and pieces it's a really really great figure it's perfect really but then again I mean I can say this one looks perfect I can say this one is excellent but may be up for debate you know a bit cartoony maybe you know I mean it's a little bit more kind of I don't want to say cartoon or sort of comic book looking but it's not as real as this looks but I gotta say my gut is telling me this one I just love this one I think um, you know seeing her in the hospital gown and stuff it really does bring back memories of scenes in the movie and the expression on her face works really well for poses and she's great with Myers so I'm gonna say yeah retro cloth Halloween 2 Laurie Strode that's a tough one though because that is a I wouldn't be without that you have to have that one you have to have both that's just how it is okay folks thank you for watching I'll bring you more don't make me choose videos soon don't want to do too many in one video because I don't want to have too many left to do I'll keep the series going for a little while it's always handy when you're in a pinch waiting for a new review to come along just waiting for Hot Toys Bane looks amazing the skin texture and all that stuff the proportions and I was surprised how soft the skin seems I was assuming it was going to be uh, super tough but in Justin's video when he was moving it, it looked pretty malleable pliable what's the word posable anyway so yeah um, there's other stuff on the way I've ordered other things not really Halloween related I will be reviewing the trick-or-treat studios 1-6 Rob Zombie Michael Myers as soon as that's released through Mad About Horror so that's going to be a good review looking forward to that man I'm going to compare it to my custom one see how it stacks up it's going to be interesting can't wait to do some mods and weathering afterwards as well and I have been meaning for the longest time to make a Bob Myers from 78 I've got the glasses in a little case there and I've got the sheet and I've been meaning to do it for like four years so I'll try and get to that this October just different stuff but I'll keep the Halloween vibes going got to finish off a couple of masks and then I'm gonna try and you know I think I'm doing pretty well this month I've been keeping it going on the channel keeping the spooky videos going trying to do you know come up with ideas this series of videos is very handy for that and yeah just hope you guys are having a good October hope you're all keeping safe and well enjoying the hobby and I'll see you soon take it easy bye bye